the earth provides, we cultivate and nurture. This is the essence of farming, it's a partnership as old as humanity itself. Two of the most vital plants in this partnership are rice and vegetables, they sustain billions around the world. Understanding their cultivation is crucial, it ensures food security and nourishes our bodies and the planet. This guide is a journey. We will explore the intricacies of rice planting and vegetable harvesting. From the preparation of the soil to the moment of harvest, we will uncover the secrets of sustainable practices. Join me as we delve into the world of farming. Let's rediscover our connection to the land and the food it provides. These are more than just farming techniques. They are a testament to human ingenuity. They represent our deep connection with nature. Rice, a staple food for a significant portion of the world, begins its life as a humble seed. This tiny grain holds the potential to nourish families and communities. Its journey from seed to our tables is a testament to the intricate dance between humans and nature. We start with the seed itself, carefully selected for its resilience and suitability to the local climate and soil. The seed is then planted, often by hand, in a carefully prepared paddy. The paddy, a flooded field, provides the perfect environment for the rice to germinate and grow. Weeks turn into months as the rice plants mature, their emerald green leaves swaying in the breeze. The paddy, a vibrant ecosystem teeming with life, becomes a testament to the interconnectedness of nature. Farmers meticulously manage the water levels, ensuring the rice has the perfect balance of moisture and oxygen. Before a single grain of rice is planted, the land itself demands attention. The creation of a rice paddy, a flooded field specifically designed for rice cultivation, is a meticulous process. It requires a deep understanding of the land and the plant's needs. The first step involves plowing or tilling the soil. This breaks up compacted earth, creating space for air and water to penetrate. Organic matter, such as compost or manure, is often incorporated to enrich the soil and provide essential nutrients for the rice plants. This organic matter acts as food for beneficial microorganisms in the soil, further enhancing its fertility. Leveling the field is crucial for ensuring even water distribution. This is often done manually using simple tools, a testament to the labor-intensive nature of traditional rice farming. Proper leveling prevents water from pooling in certain areas, which could suffocate the rice plants or create an uneven growing environment. With the paddy prepared, the cycle of life begins. Rice seedlings, carefully nurtured in a separate nursery bed, are gently transplanted into the flooded field. The water, a defining characteristic of rice cultivation, plays a multifaceted role in the plant's growth. Acting as a natural temperature regulator, the water keeps the roots at an optimal temperature for growth. It also helps to suppress weeds, giving the rice plants a competitive advantage. The depth of the water is carefully controlled throughout the growing season. As the weeks progress, the rice plants transform from delicate seedlings into robust stalks. Their roots anchor firmly in the muddy bottom of the paddy, drawing up nutrients and water. The air above the water is alive with the hum of insects, a symphony of life sustained by this unique ecosystem. Section 5. Nature's Challenges, Pests and the Importance of Climate The life of a rice farmer is not without its challenges. Pests and diseases, a constant threat to any crop, require vigilant monitoring and careful management. Climate, too, plays a crucial role in the success or failure of a rice harvest. Insects drawn to the abundance of the paddy can decimate a rice crop if left unchecked. Traditional methods of pest control often involve introducing natural predators such as ducks or fish into the paddy to keep insect populations in check. Climate change, with its unpredictable weather patterns, poses a significant threat to rice production. Droughts can lead to water shortages, stressing the rice plants and reducing yields. Conversely, excessive rainfall can flood the paddies, drowning the plants or making them susceptible to fungal diseases. Sustainable farming practices, which we will explore in the next section, offer solutions to mitigate these challenges. Section 6. Sustainable Rice Farming – A Partnership with Nature Sustainable rice farming is not just a technique, it's a philosophy. It recognizes the interconnectedness of the environment, the farmer, and the consumer. This approach prioritizes practices that minimize environmental impact while maximizing yields and ensuring the long-term health of the land. One key principle is reducing water usage. Traditional rice farming often involves continuous flooding, which can lead to water waste and methane emissions. 
Sustainable methods such as the system of rice intensification or SRI promote intermittent flooding, allowing the soil to aerate and reducing water consumption. Organic farming practices which eschew synthetic pesticides and fertilizers are also central to sustainable rice production. Instead of relying on chemicals, organic farmers utilize natural methods such as crop rotation and compost application to build soil fertility and control pests. Section 7. From Field to Table. The Art of Harvesting Vegetables. As we transition from the watery world of the rice paddy, we enter the diverse realm of vegetable harvesting. Unlike rice with its single harvest time, vegetables offer a continuous bounty throughout the growing season. Knowing when and how to harvest each type of vegetable is crucial for ensuring optimal flavor and nutritional value. Root vegetables such as carrots and potatoes are ready for harvest when their foliage begins to yellow and die back. Leafy greens on the other hand, are best picked when they are young and tender. Timing is key. Harvesting too early can result in underdeveloped flavors, while waiting too long can lead to tough, bitter vegetables. The methods used for harvesting vegetables vary depending on the type of plant and the scale of production. Small-scale farmers often rely on hand harvesting, a labor-intensive but rewarding process that allows for careful selection of the best produce. Larger operations may employ mechanized harvesters to efficiently gather crops like potatoes or tomatoes. Section 8. Tools of the Trade Harvesting with Care and Efficiency just as a carpenter relies on a well-stocked toolbox, so too does a vegetable farmer depend on a range of tools to efficiently and effectively harvest their crops. These tools, often simple in design but essential in function, are extensions of the farmer's hands, allowing them to gather the fruits of their labor with care and precision. For harvesting leafy greens and herbs, a sharp pair of scissors or a harvesting knife is indispensable. These tools allow for clean cuts, minimizing damage to the plant, and ensuring that it can continue to produce. For root vegetables, a sturdy garden fork or a broad fork is used to loosen the soil around the roots, making it easier to pull them up without breaking. Larger vegetables, such as watermelons or pumpkins, may require the use of a harvesting knife or a pair of pruning shears to separate them from the vine. Regardless of the tool used, the goal remains the same to harvest the vegetables at their peak of freshness while minimizing damage to the plant and the surrounding environment. Section 9. Preserving the Harvest Techniques for Quality and Longevity The joy of harvesting fresh vegetables is often followed by the practical concern of preservation. How do we maintain the quality and extend the shelf life of our hard-earned produce? Fortunately, humans have developed a range of techniques over millennia to preserve the bounty of the harvest ensuring access to nutritious food throughout the year. One of the oldest and most effective methods is drying. By removing the moisture from fruits, vegetables, and herbs, drying inhibits the growth of bacteria and mold, extending their shelf life significantly. Sun drying, a simple yet effective method, involves spreading the produce out in a single layer in a well-ventilated area exposed to direct sunlight. For preserving larger quantities of produce, dehydration using an electric food dehydrator offers a more controlled environment. Other preservation methods include pickling, fermenting, and canning. Pickling, which involves submerging vegetables in a brine solution, preserves their crunch and adds a tangy flavor. Section 10. A Shared Harvest, Tips for Farmers of All Levels. Whether you're a seasoned farmer with acres of land or a city dweller tending to a small balcony garden, the journey of cultivating food is filled with continuous learning and shared wisdom. Here are a few tips gleaned from generations of farmers to help you along your own agricultural pursuits. For beginners, starting small is key. Choose a few easy-to-grow vegetables, such as lettuce, radishes, or beans, to gain confidence and experience. Don't be afraid to experiment with different varieties and techniques to find what works best in your specific growing environment. Experienced farmers can benefit from embracing innovation. Explore new crop varieties, experiment with companion planting, and stay informed about the latest developments in sustainable agriculture. Regardless of your experience level, connecting with other farmers in your community can provide invaluable support and knowledge sharing. Section 11. Feeding the World the importance of sustainable agriculture. As we conclude our exploration of rice planting and vegetable harvesting, it's crucial to recognize the profound significance of these practices in the context of global food security. 
With a growing global population and the increasing threats posed by climate change, sustainable agriculture is not merely a choice, but a necessity. Sustainable farming methods by prioritizing soil health, water conservation and biodiversity offer a pathway to produce more food with fewer resources while minimizing negative impacts on the environment. By embracing these practices we can ensure that future generations have access to the nutritious food they need to thrive. The journey from seed to table is a testament to human ingenuity and our interconnectedness with nature. By supporting sustainable farmers, advocating for policies that promote ecological agriculture and making conscious food choices, we can all play a role in creating a more just and sustainable food system for all.